Welcome to a presentation from Lattice Gear about scribing and cleaving applications and tools. With the right tools, scribing and cleaving is fast, clean, dry, and accurate. It can be applied to downsizing a wide variety of wafer substrates. Typically, when you think about scribing and cleaving, you think handheld scribers, pins, sharp particles, dust, and a dirty workplace. With lattice gear scribing and cleaving systems, you can go beyond the limitations of handheld tools to cleanly and accurately downsize sapphire wafers, cleave gallium arsenide laser bars, and prepare cross sections of silicon devices for scanning electron microscopy. I really want to convince you of the wide range of applications covered by scribing and cleaving, so let's look at more examples of wafer downsizing. In this slide, a silicon carbide wafer was downsized, photonic crystals with floating structures cleaved, and indium phosphide dye were simulated from a wafer. An edge view of the 4 by 3 millimeter indium phosphide die shown in the previous slide shows mirror finish facets which are required to characterize its photonic properties. Cleaving was an attractive process as dicing followed by polishing introduces particle and lubricant contamination. Sapphire and gallium nitride wafers as shown here are costly. To save money and time during R&D, wafers are commonly downsized prior to processing to enable more experiments per wafer. Cleaving is often thought to be impossible or at best difficult on these materials, but knowing the crystal orientation and material properties makes it possible to develop a solution. Wafers don't need to be crystalline to be cleaved. Glass is amorphous and comes in a wide variety of types, hard and soft, thick and thin, and even glass that has been tempered. With the right tools, they can all be cleaved. The top image is a downsized 6-inch Eagle glass wafer and the bottom image a mobile phone cover of tempered glass cleaved into four pieces. How do we downsize so many different types of wafers? Lattice Gear designs smart mechanical tools with dials and levers that enable performance well beyond what you can achieve with handheld scribing tools. Our flagship products, Lattice Axe, FlipScribe, and FlexScribe, were used to downsize all the wafers in the examples shown today. Now a quick introduction to those tools. The Lattice Axe 420 is a high accuracy indent and cleaving system used for wafer downsizing and applications needing to cleave small features. Shown here in the clean room at the University of Washington, it includes a microscope, robust stand, and XY stage that make it easy to use by enabling viewing of a target during the cleaving process. The flip scribe is unique. It's the only tool that scribes from the back side of the sample. Films and devices on the top side are not touched. It works like a table saw with a non-rotating blade. The scriber is circled on the tool. The illustration shows a magnified view of the scriber making contact with the back side of the sample as it is being scribed. The FlexScribe scribes from the top side and its design assures that you will always have a straight scribe. It is quick, efficient, and can be customized to cut a wide variety of substrates. This includes samples that need to be cleaved off their crystal axis and it's exceptional for downsizing glass and sapphire. It accommodates up to 300 millimeter wafers and can be customized with cutting wheels for specific applications. Handheld tools complement the capabilities of the Lattice Axe, FlipScribe, and FlexScribe. So we combine the best tools into kits containing everything you need to set up a scribing and cleaving station in your facility. Shop for them at Lattice Gear's online store. Go to our homepage and click Shop.
I hope this presentation showed the power of scribing and cleaving to downsize a wide variety of wafer substrates. Contact us to talk about your needs. So let's close with a few quotes from our customers sharing how Lattice Gear Solutions are integrated into their facilities.